thesmartlocal.com So on a monthly basis, how much do you spend on your child? $2,500 $800 About $3,000 $2,000 to $4,000 Hi guys, welcome to Hot Take. Something in common we often hear is about raising a child in Singapore is very expensive. So today I'm going to find out how much do parents usually spend on their children on a monthly basis. How old are you and what do you work as currently? I'm 33 this year, I'm in the finance industry. How many kids do you have? Currently I have one child and she's 16 months. So on a monthly basis, how much do you spend on your child? Because currently she doesn't attend any school, mm. so I would say 1K. 1K, what does it include of? Food, enrichment classes, clothes. Have you ever like made any financial adjustment for her? We can't go on long trips as a couple. We used to take uh, yearly trips, you know, to, to far away countries. So now you have to cut back on that. A good advice is just don't be too hard on yourself because parenthood is a learning journey and everybody makes mistakes and there's no right and wrong to bring up a child, but we try to bring them up in the best environment and try to teach them good morals. Yeah. How old are you and what do you work as currently? I'm 40 years old. I'm currently working as an executive assistant. So I have a 14-year-old daughter. She's turning 15 in April very soon. Mm, okay. So on a monthly basis, how much do you spend on your child? So in school, about $2,500, that's her fees. She's in an international school because we're expats, so we did try to get her into local but did not. If I have to include like maybe food and everything else, how much do you think roughly would be? You know, they have demands like, ah, today I want this shoe, today I want Nike Air, today I want an iPhone. So including all of that, average out to be a good 4.55 per month. Yeah. Do you feel like there's a difference between raising a child now as compared to in the past? Definitely, things have gone very expensive in Singapore. So the tuition prices have increased. But you know, uh, when you're sending your child to extra classes, if she wants to go to any extracurricular activities, it is expensive. So yeah, definitely, uh, Singapore has become an expensive country on a whole. Any advice for parents to be? You have decided on having a baby. Just don't go with the flow. So yeah, plan your baby plan the finances and uh, of course if you're a Singaporean you do get some benefits from the government which is very good if you are a foreigner make sure you have savings uh, husband and wife should be working you can't manage it alone mm -hmm. and uh, yeah and enjoy have fun it's good to have babies how are you and what do you work as currently okay I'm 46 I'm a prop next sales person okay real and, estate sales person okay and do you have a kid yeah, she's big. She's 14 now. On a monthly basis, how much do you spend on her? I calculate, I think roughly about 3000 So do you think that raising a kid in Singapore is very expensive? Well, that is quite true. There are some tuition centres that are doing like $700, $800 for one subject. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine if the child needs more of this academic support, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, well, then you can really work out quite a lot. Right. But it's also something that really money can't buy. It's fulfilling, it's purposeful, yeah. And any advice for parents to be as well? It's really not just about the academic. I really focus on life skill, mm. like whether it's sense of um, independence, leadership. And I, I look at it as a very holistic living. Not all kids are all academic, mm. you know, and if they have a talent, go build it. But come to some point of time, they have to, they have to take action, they have to steer their own ship. How old are you and what do you work as currently? I'm 36 right now mm. and I'm working at Lisbon class. I'm 38 and I work in business development. Do you guys have a kid? One daughter. How old is she? She's three and a half. On a monthly basis, how much do you spend on her? Uh, about one grand to 1.2 grand, I think. Mm. Thereabouts, including food, education, mm. enrichment, but excluding insurance. So oh, I, I don't okay. know how to calculate that. I need to go and find out. Yeah. Okay, so maybe yeah. about one to two K lah. Yeah, mm. probably yeah. Which one actually costs the most? Um, enrichment classes, I feel. <laughs> so you're from Korea, right? Yes. What is the difference between raising a kid in Singapore mm. and in Korea? It is expensive here, in Singapore. For schooling, it's hundred percent. You can you can be covered in Korea until high school. Right? We don't really pay so much for the schooling, so that's the difference. I guess. Any advice for our parents to be? No, no, we need to advise ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, and what do you work as currently? I'm thirty nine. I'm a hairstylist. So, do you have a kid? 
Yes, he's 8 years old this year. On a monthly basis, how much do you spend on your child? Roughly around 2 to 4k. A lot of enrichment classes, <laughs> a lot of tuitions and um, activity like uh, he likes badminton and he likes uh, piano. So yeah, he has enrichments like Monday to Sunday. And what is the most amount that you have spent on him? Bring him to his favourite uh, country, uh, Finland, last year in March. About 10 to 10, uh, 10 to 15k. Per pet? Uh, no, two of us. For yourself, have you ever made any financial adjustment for him? Uh, yes, of course. Buy lesser, shop lesser, eat lesser, <laughs> work harder, <laughs> work longer hours. <laughs> How old are you and what do you work as currently? 37. Uh, I'm a producer. Producer. And so actor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Currently, do you have any kids? Uh, two. Uh, one is ten, one is six. On a monthly basis, how much do you spend on your children? 800 to 1,000. And they are all in uh, government subsidized kindergartens. Initially, when they went for private ones, uh, those are way more expensive. Mm. Then we made adjustments uh, and shift them to government subsidized ones, which is more affordable. So, out of all the expenses that you have like incurred for your children, in which category would it be like the most expensive one? For my elder one, I think it's tuition and entertainment. Mm. When we bring them out for food, for weekend activities. For the younger one, it's basically just yeah weekend activities. Because okay. right now, yeah, just having fun. We just want him to be happy and just enjoy his childhood. How old are you and what are you working as currently? Uh, I'm 33 and I'm a software engineer. Where are you from actually? England. Do you have a kid? Uh, yes. In six weeks. So currently on a monthly basis, how much do you usually spend on her? I buy a lot on Shopee uh, when I'm feeding her. Three, four hundred dollars a month. We're breastfeeding, so um, we don't have to spend on formula, which is very expensive. Do you find it more expensive to raise a kid in Singapore as compared to London? I'd actually say it's cheaper than London because childcare is much, much cheaper here. Um, you can get a helper, um, but then other things like clothing, um, and like baby products are much more expensive here. Do you have to make any financial adjustment for her? Both my husband and I need to work, um, so I don't think we could afford for me to be a stay-at-home mum here. Mm. I guess that's the biggest adjustment. And in terms of financial wise, any advice on that as well? Uh, I think there's never a right time to have a baby, mm. so if you want to do it, you'll make it work. It is a big commitment and you need to make sure that you've at least got savings, I think, to fall back on because you've suddenly got to be a lot more responsible. How old are you and what do you work as currently? Uh, yeah, I'm 37 this year, so I'm actually an accountant. Mm. Yeah, I have a son mm. who is uh, three years this year. I see. Mm. Okay, so on a monthly basis, how much do you spend on your child? Because he's actually in a childcare now, so uh, childcare-wise will be approximate 2000 per month. Mm. So uh, beside that, uh, and also maybe insurance and also the daily expenses, so I would say maybe 2000 plus to 3000 a month. 2K to 3K. Yeah, to yeah. spend mm. on the child. So apart from the education-wise, mm. there will be the maybe the insurance and the supplements, mm. play dates, uh, all this. So it will all involve uh, money, mm. I would say, okay. yeah. Based on today, we received a wide range of answers from $300 being the least to $5,000 per month. Ultimately, it depends on your financial capabilities as well as the age group of your child. Thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and ring the notification bell. Watch our other videos over here. Bye!